Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome to tutorial number 44. And in this tutorial, I just want to talk to you guys about text areas. And if you guys don't know what a text area is, then it's basically like almost like an input box, except the user can now fill in a lot more information. Uh, so it, you can have a lot more lines or paragraphs of information. So let's say for instance you were writing like an email program and you wanted them to the user to be able to enter quite a lot of information inside of their email message or yeah in fact you were maybe even making an instant messaging program and you wanted the user to have quite a lot of space to type in their message then you would probably give them a text area so that they've got enough space to write like a full-blown long message and uh, in fact Twitter probably gives you a text area when you're on Twitter and you want to type in your message that's a text area or Facebook I think even uses a text areas right now so uh, instead of just a normal input box so let's go ahead and add in a text area to our page so we go ahead and we add in the element called text area and then we end it off over here and whatever goes inside of here is basically our text area and if you're not going to have anything in there you might as well just have these two text areas right up against each other and I'll show you why now because if we leave a space and we go ahead and we uh, save that and go back to or we go back to go into Firefox you can see we have got this text area here and as you can see it's quite big so we've got a lot of space to go ahead and type whatever we want but watch what happens when I click inside you can see we're starting one space away from the edge so when I uh, use a text area if I'm gonna leave it blank I make sure that they are right touching against each other like that so when uh, did I save that? I don't think so. Save. So when we're over here we don't get that one little space anymore we're like right up against the edge otherwise what most people do is they'll have a message in here so it'll say like tell me about yourself and then uh, we go ahead and we click refresh now and then you get the message tell me about yourself so that's what a lot of people do and then the user can go ahead and type whatever they want so my name is Quentin and you should should add me on Twitter because I have no followers and I'm kind of lonely just kidding not really but I don't have many followers on Twitter so if you want go ahead and add me please links in the description below and uh, what we can do now is you see how right now our text area is like stuck at this size and no matter what we type it's always there unless we resize it over here we can actually resize our text area as well so uh, it fits our website a lot better and what we could do is or what we can do to do that is we just increase the amount of rows or columns so to make the text box higher we can say rows is equal to 15 and we go ahead and save this and uh, you can see by default our text area is somewhere around there and now when we click refresh we now have a much larger uh, text area and we can make it a lot wider as well by just going ahead and changing the columns so to change the columns you type in this attribute called coals which stands for columns and then you can set that equal to 50 and when we go ahead and save this and refresh this in our browser we now get a text area that is 15 rows down by 50 columns across and I think what it does to get that measurement is it takes like the letter of the size of a capital M and uh, if we go ahead and we put 50 M's over here we'd probably get to the end I'm not going to count them all, but yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what the text area does in HTML. And 
that was quite a short tutorial because there's actually nothing else that it does so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment and if you found this video helpful then please go ahead and click like because it's really gonna help my channel grow so thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time